Oof, what a, what a uh, you know, I, w- I would think for a, some, an observer, a, a fun match to watch. Back and forth, uh, two teams fighting uh, extremely hard. Credit to LAFC, you know, getting the result at the very end. But uh, I'm very proud of our boys and the way that they played. Um, the standard that they kept, you know, uh, goals, uh, goals help you, goals break your heart. Uh, all of that was there tonight. And, uh, but like I said, uh, we created great, great chances. Um, looking back at the goals against, you know, uh, we always try to, uh, review and improve, but, uh, um, I have to say, you know, uh, it's hard for me to point a finger. Uh, at anybody except myself, uh, at this point, with the effort that was put out there, it was a good game. It was a it was a good game. That was a game that they should play on Saturday night, in front of a big audience. Hey, John. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure. Yeah, no, uh, you know, you have that, uh, hope or glimmer of hope and then you're, um, able to, sorry, am I getting reverb on something? I sound like I'm talking on the radio or something regarding the, uh, being, uh, eliminated from the playoffs. Um, the attitude is still the same, but obviously once you still have that, that hope to, to move forward, to knock out teams, to do all of those things. Um, I don't even know if it's an easier talking point because, you know, people can do math and, you know, we're, we're all realists here, uh, at the same time, uh, I think our style of, and our attitude of just being, um, uh, aggressive and trying to win games, regardless of where we are in the standings, how we're doing it, that has, that approach has to stay the same. What I've been talking to the players about is how you carry forward and how you carry forward in the, these games, especially regardless of what, you know, where we are in the table, that's a, um, a reflection of, of you and your career and how you're moving forward. Uh, I think that's very important for them. And again, on a game like tonight, you know, I can sit there and say to all of those guys, your careers are in check. You're, you're, you're fine. Now we're in LA and, you know, you're going to read the news that, you know, we're out, but what are you going to do? What are we going to do? Go play like you're playing for your careers. Because if you're playing just for the good times, anybody can do that. Lots of people can step on the field and do that. Tonight was a final. The last couple of games were a final. And, you know, every time we didn't get the result, it hurt. And tonight hurt plenty. But, you know, I don't think we're going to have less pressure in L.A. I don't think we're going to have more pressure. We're going to have the same pressure because we're going to talk about the same things. This is how you want to play all of these games. So this could be the first five games of the season or the last five games of the season or the summer stretch that nobody cares about, you know, when they're watching baseball or whatever else they're watching. But the reality is how you approach every single game, that's what makes you a career player. So if you approach it the right way, I'll see you in 10 and 15 years because you'll still be playing. You don't approach it that way and you just approach it when you guys have a nice run. Thank all the people that got you on that run. So to answer your question, we're going to go with the same approach. It's not as easy uh, technically, but I don't think anybody was fooled how hard it was mathematically a game ago or two games ago. We all knew. We all knew. So they've all done it well. They, they've been at every training session focused. Tonight we saw goals from guys that, you know, uh, I, I was happy. I was very happy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. No, the penalty. Yeah, the penalty uh, was big for him. It c- kind of kept him in his flow. Um, again, uh, it's, it's hard to review those things or talk about those things, you know, from the sideline in the middle of the game. But yeah, we had spoken before. He was a heavy guy and he was going to be uh, their danger man um, for 
I want to say in the, definitely in the first half, we felt in, in very good control. But uh, yeah, um, I think after that, uh, he's been riding a little bit of a wave. So, you know, credit to him. He's a good striker. Correct. Well, I think even like, you know, if you look at Hara's goal, we were like focusing on that a lot during the week in terms of just managing, uh, managing pressure and managing zones and then springing into the attack and then creating an opportunity. So I think the guys were focused on, you know, the timing and when we might be able to break out and, and create a moment. So I, I don't think the goals came as surprises, you know, uh, in regards to uh, Ryan as well. He's always been fluid coming into the attack late and, you know, finding spots in the box and doing things like that. So, um, again, uh, I take their goals away. I put our goals in. There's our plan, right? Now we just have to, again, l eliminate the goals because uh, I thought a lot of the, the game was very, very solid. Um, we didn't manage one of their players. We didn't manage a couple of moment, moments well, but uh, we created chances that, uh, uh, honestly, out of our out of our shape, that I thought were very very good. You know, so I think it's something for them to latch on to and build on. And again, I I I I just finished speaking with the players, and you know, really the only thing that I could tell tell them is that I was extremely uh, ex extremely proud of their their effort and their performance tonight. Uh, this is a playoff game. This is how these things go. It's three to two. Could end up one zero. Could end up two to one in our favor. You know, it's just one of those things. All right. Thanks, John. Thanks, Marco. We have Hunter O'Brien waiting outside.